How do we know that Earth has warmed? Scientists have been taking widespread global measurements of Earth's surface temperature for centuries. By the 1880s, there was enough data to produce reliable estimates of global average temperature. These data have steadily improved, and today, temperatures are recorded by thermometers at many thousands of locations, both on land and over the oceans. Different research groups, including NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies, Great Britain's Hadley Center, and the Japanese Meteorological Agency, have used these raw measurements to produce records of long-term surface temperature change. Research groups work carefully to make sure the data aren't skewed by such things as changes in the instruments taking the measurements, or by other factors that affect local temperature, such as additional heat that has come from the gradual growth of cities. These analyses all show that Earth's average surface temperature has increased by more than 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit over the past 100 years. With much of this increase taking place over the past 35 years. A temperature change of 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit may not seem like much if you're thinking about a daily or seasonal fluctuation. However, it is a significant change when you think about a permanent increase averaged across the entire planet. For example, 1.4 degrees is more than the average annual temperature difference between Washington, D.C. and Charleston, South Carolina, which is more than 450 miles south of Washington. Think about this. On any given day, a difference of 9 degrees Fahrenheit might be the difference between wearing a sweater or not. But a change of 9 degrees in the global average temperature is the estimated difference between the climate of today and an ice age. In addition to surface temperature, other parts of the climate system are also being monitored carefully. For example, a variety of instruments are used to measure temperature, salinity, and currents beneath the ocean surface. Weather balloons are used to probe the temperature, humidity, and winds in the atmosphere. A key breakthrough in the ability to track global environmental changes began in the 1970s with the dawn of the era of satellite remote sensing. Many different types of sensors, carried on many dozens of satellites, have allowed us to build a truly global picture of changes in the temperature of the atmosphere and of the ocean and land surfaces. Satellite data are also used to study shifts in precipitation and changes in land cover. Even though satellites do not measure temperature in the same way as instruments on the surface of Earth, and any errors would be of a completely different nature, the two records agree. A number of other indicators of global warming have also been observed. For example, heat waves are becoming more frequent. Cold snaps are now shorter and milder. Snow and ice cover are decreasing in the northern hemisphere. Glaciers and ice caps around the world are melting. And many plant and animal species are moving to different latitudes or higher altitudes due to changes in temperature. The picture that emerges from all of these data sets is clear and consistent. Earth is warming. 